Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. EASA declares Boeing 737 MAX safe to return to service. Also, want a really cool pilot job? LA County Fire Department needs pilots. And UAVionics announces TSO authorization for Tail Beacon X Mode S ADS-B transponder. Happy Monday, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have an exciting episode today filled with the latest news that's happening in the aviation community. So let's go ahead and start with controversial Tamarack Challenge pits conventional versus winglet equipped jets. Tamarack Aerospace has informed one and all that they are the winner of January 26th fly off between an unmodified Citation jet and an active winglet modified Citation jet. This event was designed to be a real world comparison between the active winglet's performance on a Cessna Citation jet against a conventional CJ-1. Critics and fans are arguing over the specifics of the contest and what exactly may or may not have been proven as a result, though an advantage seems to be clearly shown by the active winglet system. The question being, how much? Tamarack is claiming as much as 30% advantage in operational efficiency, while the critics are arguing that the flight produced somewhere in the range of 10% advantage. Tamarack President Jacob Klingensmith broke down a few of the highlights with ANN's Jim Campbell over the weekend. Yeah, so just in terms of high level uh, overview of that flight, you know, um, we had weather to contend with, which is a real consideration operationally. Um, the winglet equipped airplane was able to make the trip nonstop. Um, it saved a thousand pounds of fuel uh, being able to do that that day. Um, the, the flat wing plane without the winglets had to plan the fuel stop. They had to go around the weather. Um, and so at the end of the day, you know, it was, it was a savings of um, a thousand pounds of fuel and, um, you know, specific range for that flight was 23% better. So that's a huge savings in terms of um, efficiency for the operator, but also sustainability. You know, they saved uh, one and a half metric tons of, of CO2 emissions on that one flight. So we're really pleased with how it went. Um, we're excited to, to do it again, maybe with a CJ2 or something like that. Tamarack has invited ANN on a proving flight in the not too distant future so that we can see some of the capabilities ourselves. We'll let you know when that's happening. After the break, EASA makes a decision on the Boeing 737 MAX. More on that after these messages. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Whatever your aviation goal, right now is a great time to get started. So you'll be pleased to know that King Schools is having a sale right now that ends on February 9th. You can get 21% off any course by using the order code right now when you call King Schools or order online at kingschools.com. Let's celebrate a new year of learning and flying, and we hope to see you soon at the airport. airport. Aviation's number one safety equipment manufacturer. New ELTs and safety products that activate life-saving rescues across the world. ELTs and safety products for every type of aircraft. General Aviation, Business Jet, Rotorcraft, commercial aircraft, easy installation, affordable pricing, safety and reliability. Visit www.artex.com to view our selection of ELTs and safety products today. Artex, your best last chance. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call around the patch. Let's start with EASA declares Boeing 737 MAX safe to return to service. EASA has officially given its seal of approval for the return to service of the Boeing 737 MAX, mandating a package of software updates, electrical wiring work, maintenance checks, operation manual updates, and crew training, which will allow the plane to fly safely in European skies after almost two years on the ground. We have reached a significant milestone on a long road, said EASA Executive Director Patrick Key. Following extensive analysis by EASA, we have determined that the 737 MAX can safely return to service. 
Airflow to develop a full-scale piloted technology demonstrator. Airflow is in the process of developing one of the first full-scale piloted technology demonstrators of an e-stall aircraft. For the last year, Airflow has been utilizing a subscale model for test flights that have helped develop e-stall flight control technology. The next phase will transform a Cessna 210 into an e-stall with distributed electric propulsion. DEP enables operations in and out of very short runways by providing more control at slower air speeds. Airflow will validate and refine the design parameters used to build the production e-stall aircraft. AEA scholarship applications available online. The Aircraft Electronics Association Educational Foundation will award 23 scholarships totaling more than $100,000 for the 2021-2022 school year to students pursuing a career in avionics or aircraft maintenance, as well as employees and dependents from AA member companies. Since its inception, the AA scholarship program has awarded more than $1.5 million in scholarships. Numerous awards are available ranging from $1,000 to more than $35,000 each. Sikorsky Boeing team reveals advanced assault helicopter. Sikorsky and Boeing have released details of its advanced helicopter for the U.S. Army's future long-range assault aircraft competition, known as FLRAA. The aircraft named Defiant X will reportedly be the fastest, most maneuverable, and most survivable assault helicopter in history. Combined with the team's unsurpassed experience in mission systems, training, and sustainment, it will revolutionize the way the Army meets threats in 2035 and beyond. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Let's go ahead and start with, want a really cool pilot job? The LA County Fire Department needs pilots. They are looking for pilots for what they describe as an elite air fleet of Bell and Sikorsky helicopters. Think you qualify? Well, you must meet the following selection requirements. 4,000 hours of pilot in command flying time in helicopters. 1,500 hours of this time must have been flown in mountainous terrain at pressure altitudes of over 4,000 feet on map survey. Power line control construction, fire control, search and rescue operations, emergency medical services, or similar assignments requiring takeoffs and landings with maximum loads on unimproved landing areas under adverse weather condition. Requirements, certificates, a valid ATP certificate with rotorcraft helicopter rating issued by the FAA, or a valid commercial pilot certificate with a rotorcraft helicopter rating issued by the FAA, a current and valid class one or class two Two, aviation medical certificate issued by the FAA, a valid commercial pilot certificate with helicopter instrument rating issued by the FAA at the time of appointment, and a valid California driver license is required at the time of appointment. Okay, that being said, the gig seems to pay pretty well, ranging from $107,000 to $144,000 annually, plus benefits, medical and dental coverage, pension plan, paid vacations, and holidays, and sick leave. After these messages, UAVionics announces TSO authorization for Tail Beacon X Mode S ADSB Transponder. Those details after the break. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training, and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. 
And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. UAVionics announces TSO authorization for Tail Beacon X Mode SADSB Transponder. UAVionics has received FAA TSOA for its Tail Beacon X 1090 MHz ADSB out transponder. The integrated device which replaces a rear navigation light, includes and combines transponder ADS-B out, SBAS, GPS, and rear LED position light. Tail Beacon X is Arion compatible and is designed as a globally compliant, easily installed ADS-B out solution for general aviation and urban air mobility meeting current and future 1090 megahertz ADS-B mandates, specifically built to offer maximum compatibility with both ground and space-based receivers used by over 18 air navigation services providers worldwide. Tail Beacon X was extensively tested with Arion and Nav Canada. Significantly increased performance levels were observed over traditional bottom mount antenna installations, including at lower altitudes and during surface movements. Combining a LED rear position light replacement, a 1090 megahertz mode SES ADS-B out transponder, SBAS GPS position source, and a dipole antenna into a single package was a major feat for our team, resulting in major cost reduction to our customers, said Ryan Braun, CEO of UAVionics. Safety benefits for search and rescue operations are magnified with Tail Beacon X. The Civil Air Patrol uses Arion data to pinpoint an aircraft's last loan location, thus reducing search areas, shaving minutes or hours off the rescue efforts. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.